Hey, what's up guys? This is Steve Bickford here and I just wanted to shoot this quick video and share with you what I consider the best password manager out there today. Um, this is something that's really going to help your life. If you're anything like me, you're always searching for passwords and, and just having a hard time keeping track of everything. Plus with all the um, people you know stealing identities nowadays, uh, you like to have different passwords for each and everything that you have and it's just hard to keep track of all of them and you know you don't want to write them down because that could get lost and all this so I found this online solution actually there's an app as well um, so I can carry this around on my phone and use it anywhere at any time and I just really think it's awesome so I want to share it with you and just uh, try and make your life as easy as as possible so uh, we're going to jump over here this uh, software is called LastPass so if you go to lastpass.com uh, that's where you will find it and uh, I'll put a link to it under this video as well so you can just click on that link and go to it uh, there's no I'm not getting any type any type of affiliate commission or anything there's no affiliate um, program connected to this this is just straight up pure value I'm trying to give you here to to help you out so this is what you'll see when you go to lastpass.com and uh, there there is a free version um, I'm gonna tell you right now I use the premium version because it's only twelve dollars a year uh, and it saved me so much of a headache. I mean, I would pay at least, I, I would pay at least this per month if I needed to, um, because you know I, I can simply open the app on my phone. There's a browser included in the app, and I can just go to the websites there, and it has all my password information stored. And I'm going to show you how this works as well. So, like I said, there is a free version. You can use it on one device, if I remember correctly. It's been so long since I've uh, started using this, but I, I believe you can use this on. On one particular device. If you use the premium like I've got, uh, it syncs across all your devices that you have connected to that account, uh, which is really great because I can be on the computer here and uh, I can save a password and it's automatically synced to the cloud and uh, encrypted and put on my phone as well. So I just want to show you this so you can you can jump over to LastPass and and pick up your either free version or your your uh, twelve dollars a year version, the uh, premium version. So I'm going to show you what this does. Let's go back over to this other browser here. And if you can see up here in this in the top right corner, there's these three dots. This is actually an extension you will install. It's a LastPass extension. Uh, I'm in Chrome right now, so it's called an extension. It's also available for Firefox, and I'm sure the other browsers too, but those are the two that I'm familiar with. But um, this is the extension. It'll pop in this little icon up here, and you can click on that. And it'll pull up any alerts that you have if you have duplicate passwords or something like that. And then uh, if you click it again, that will go away and it'll bring up, it'll show your LastPass vault. This is what I usually do is I click on this. I'm not going to do it right this second, but I'll show you. But usually I click on this and it opens up a new browser tab with my vault that has all of my uh, stored information in it. And I'll show you how simple that is. It's, it's really great. Uh, not only do I use it as a, a password protection, a password manager, um, it's also kind of a bookmarker because I can arrange things in, in a different order and uh, when I go to my vault I can just click on it and it opens up the browser and it logs me in and everything, you know, however I have it set up. So you can go to your password vault, you can go down to your sites and it will open up your sites. Secured notes, secured form fills. Guys, I also use this to to um, to keep track of like uh, credit cards, debit cards, things like that. Um, you know, so I, I honestly, when I'm at home, my wallet is put up. I don't, I don't carry it around the house with me. So if I'm online needing to buy something, instead of jumping up to go and get my wallet, I've already got my LastPass vault open. I'll just go to uh, my secure notes or form fills and find that information that's already stored in there. And I don't even have to pull out my, my wallet because all my uh, credit card information, debit card information is stored on LastPass. And I can just pull it straight off of there. So it's really handy. It keeps track of everything for you. So I want to show you if you open up my LastPass vault. And I'm going to have some of my personal information blocked out uh, on this video. But this is what you'll see. And uh, sometimes I put uh, these icons in list form because it's just easier for me but this is the way it, it defaults is these tiles now as you can see this is Facebook alright now I've got Google here and I've got other accounts down through here so when you hover over it you can edit it obviously and what happens when you edit it is it brings up uh, all the information for that page it brings up the login website 
um, the login URL, uh, your, uh, your username, and your password, and uh, any other information that you want to assign to it. You can also uh, click on this button where you can share it with someone if you choose to. I've never done that, but you can share it with someone. Then obviously you can delete it. Now, the best thing is you can hit launch. And as soon as you hit launch, it's going to open up a new browser and it's going to automatically insert your, uh, your username and password into the form. And I've got it set up to where it automatically logs me in to uh, Facebook. You can, you can set it to where it just puts the password information in there and you have to hit log in. Or you can set it up to automatically log you in. Uh, you know, I do, if I have multiple accounts in one, um, one different, one platform, one website, then I won't have it automatically log me in. I'll get to choose what I want, uh, which password I want it to use. But if I log out, let me log out because I want to show you something. One other thing real quick. Okay, so I'm logged out. I'm back at the Facebook login screen. You can see these three little dots here. It says a three. I actually have three different accounts um, connected to LastPass. I have my wife's account, my account, and then a, a, a third account as well. And you can click on this, and it will pull up those three different ones, and you can choose which one you want to log in with. So it's really handy. I mean, if you have one website with multiple accounts, then you can just choose which one you want by clicking on that. And based on whichever one you pick here, it'll automatically fill in the password for that one. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, run, run over to LastPass and uh, pick up your free account at least because it's really going to save you some time and, and really going to make your life easier. And uh, let me know down below if you got some value out of this, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate it if you'd share it as well, you know, because I'm, I'm sure you know just about anybody you know could use this information to, to make their life easier as well. So uh, see you on the next video. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.